Grab your chance, otherwise time won't wait, it always flies. Life is flashing before your eyes. So live it up, idealize, don't stop to compromise. Life just keeps on flashing before your eyes. on flashing before your eyes Well, just to philosophize Between two eternities I realize My life is flashing before my eyes It's just a dream the dark, find the door, to find the room in this black form. This room. I am looking for the entrance to another room. See the power in the light reflected from my eye. Do not fight. He spreads his wings wings over me and puts his head from behind over my shoulders so that his beak can touch against my heart. And all the ropes that were hanging from the walls are no longer visible. They have faded and withdrawn from the walls. Feathers against my shoulders against my body and arms are absorbed into the flesh transformed by the absorption of the ropes 
the red blood is visible streaming through the veins. The absorption. You must find the door the to the inner room. Transform by the absorption. By this room. Do not use this unless you see the gleam of my eye with my protection. But if you make the mistake of using the sword in anger, you will be given over to your own fate. My body is wet. wet, wet. Body I can feel wet. warmth in my here. Body. Oh, my wet. Body. You are the one who is to see. Come into the fire with me. I must burn you alive. Burning up into the neck and with leaping blue flames consume my head. Neither ash nor dust is left. Be formed out of the flames, the living flesh made of light. with red as if someone had been bleeding on this trip gliding on a sheet of red water as if the lake had bled and bled Suddenly a light, suddenly a light to which I am approaching so fast, I am thrust through the bloody entrance, flung into the air. I feel my heart beating in my lips. You must take me with you. full flesh. I see the source before me, illuminated. There is a slit. I open the slit. Gently open the slit and make a door so that I can enter. I see a figure forming, an illuminated figure. I can see within the flesh the life flow. And I see the cord between this child and the great spirit. I see a bird in the head of this child, 
flying inward, into the heart of the heart, into the flying into the heart of this child, heart, into heart, heart, heart. I dreamt I needed open heart surgery. I looked healthy. In fact, I looked great. Dr. Segal was my surgeon. Because I looked so well, the press was suspicious. They claimed I was having an affair with the doctor and that my surgery was nothing but a sick expansion of our relationship. I was nervous because Dr. Seagal had delivered me into the world. And I feared the irony of his ushering me out of it. The world appeared undisturbed by my predicament. An acquaintance called to invite me to a party. I asked Dr. Seagal if I'd be able to go. He told me I'd be in a full body cast, but if I could find the friends to carry me, I'd be fine. Between me and the surgery facilities was a huge table which seemed to be set up for a banquet. As I approached, I realized the dishes were filled with human organs instead of food. My eyes hurt when the anesthetist stuck the syringe into my forehead. I was curious about the effectiveness of drugs administered in the face. Dr. Segal laughed and offered me a beer. I asked for whiskey, which was what he was drinking. A foolish woman with an earshot was explaining to her daughter that she'd been unbearably lonely and cold, or she never would have killed herself. Her face was painted white so the child would know she was about to die. Then I realized that I was about to go into surgery and that no one had come to visit me. I didn't care about the death part. I was crying for want of sympathy. My mother told me about what her obstetrician had told her about pain in childbirth. It doesn't exist. It's just a sensation. I don't remember meeting Dr. Segal except once. I remember staring at his wrinkly hands. We were roommates in a hospital room, both about to have babies. Dr. Seagal entered and began talking to my mother. I began to have labor pains, but they ignored me. I tried to tell them that this was not my first pregnancy, that I'd been through childbirth before, but they wouldn't believe me. I asked them how could they deny it when both of them had been there. They laughed at my misconception and turned away. I saw my infant's head. It was bluish gray and huge. It had no body. It was dead, with a horrible expression on its face. They told me I hadn't given it enough time. I left them. I took the gruesome head with me. Then I threw it away. For lack of anything else to do, I walked out into the rain to celebrate my freedom. After 
After her cancer operation, my mother's hair was dirty, so I gave her a shampoo. Later, she told me she'd always trust me because I hadn't been afraid to touch her. I remembered that had been the first time I'd recognized her as a thin woman. We'd go out and see friends she hadn't seen in a long time. They'd comment on how well she looked, not able to conceal their surprise. Together, we were in a restaurant, and I told my mother, tentatively, that a friend of mine had heard a rumor that she'd been supposed to die before my dead father. He'd asked me if it were true. We laughed at the strange wording. I dreamt my father hadn't died. He'd been sleeping on the beach and had been buried by blowing sand. When he woke, he came home for some food. We didn't have any. He couldn't explain the bandages over where his heart was supposed to be. But he admitted to having chest pains. Then he said he had to go. I was watching him disappear when some doctors came in and denied that they'd lied about the surgery. Angry and frustrated, I went for a long sleepwalk narrowly escaping death at the hands of ghouls and madmen. Thank you. 
Modernism. But she's your child, too. Oh, Dick. Just a minute. Hi, Blake. Hi, Zeke. I'm going for a walk on the rotary. Do you want to come? Sure. Just let me get a wrap. I'll be back. I'm going for some exercise. What are you doing tonight? I don't know. Fish wants to go to a movie. Well, I think I'm gonna do something a little more danceable. Let's get off this thing. I go in enough circles. At first I thought the whole relationship was kind of tawdry, but now it seems so elegant. How much stupidity can a person squeeze into a lifetime? Sometimes I think I should just flush. Don't worry about it. You can go pretty far by just staying put. Besides, fish needs you. I'm just not sure who possesses who. If you do split, throw that amphibian my way. Three story. Look, I gotta go. See you later. It's impossible. Oh, it's impossible. 
What? Yeah, no. What?
Am I the story I tell myself? A moment arranges a meeting. She was there in the store. My imagination plays it variously. At the counter, she ordered draperies. I could tell you, but this would tell you nothing. My eyes averted as they have been taught. Consciousness begins with the first lie. I look closer. I breathe. I step forward. She turned. She passed near me. Leaving, sometimes she smiles. With these segments, I arrange new meetings. I have too much time. I dream. My memory is redundant so that I might begin to exist. Hardly a week passes when I don't remember her. Consciousness begins with the first lie. I have too much time. I dream. Hardly a week passes when I don't remember her. My memory is redundant so that I might begin to exist. My imagination plays it variously. She was there in the store, leaving. Sometimes she smiles. At the counter, she ordered draperies. A moment arranges a meeting. My eyes averted as they have been taught. Am I the story I tell myself? She turned. She passed near me. I could tell you, but this would tell you nothing. I look closer. I breathe. I step forward. With these segments, I arrange new meetings. I could tell you, but this would tell you nothing. She turned. She passed near me. I have too much time. I dream. A moment arranges a meeting. Hardly a week passes when I don't remember her. My memory is redundant so that I might begin to exist. I look closer. I breathe. I step forward. My eyes averted as they have been taught. With these segments, I arrange new meetings. Am I the story I tell myself? At the counter, she ordered draperies. Consciousness begins with the first lie. She was there in the store. My imagination plays it variously. Leaving, sometimes she smiles. President of the United States.
think of this before. Moron! What do you want? Why, guy, I need a pet that's loyal, loving, and obedient. This is utterly unbelievable. <laughs> Why? See, they got this big too. full of the stuff, and they just squish it in. Put the television down. Carefully. <laughs>
state. Believe the law. What have you dreamt up for us this evening? He thinks he can write us out of his story. But he can't stand alone. The odds are against him. Life's a team sport, boy. I think he's being rather rude. I'm not sure I know what he's looking for. The odds are wrong tonight. Polia, I want to see this one out. I'll join you later. Stick to your bet. I've got big money riding on you. How long have I been waiting? Time's run out. All down number one. She looks pretty good. I have been looking. You used to have a fair gleam in your eye. Uh, it's been a while. I'm giving her a try anyhow. Shit. She doesn't accept drinks from strangers. Uh, I'll just finish this last glass. Well, the argument comes down to one thing. Breeding. Breeding, yeah. It's the title of my next film. It's about a Chinese uh, hemophiliac. He uh, gets a lonely feeling too strong one night and uh, takes his own life with a carrot. And the orange nirvana bit. <laughs> yeah. Been done already. Yeah. Well, sport. Catching a breath of air out here? Sounds like they've got quite a party upstairs, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a whole crowd I want you to meet, boy. Uh, my niece uh, and her friends yeah, here from L.A. You, you bet, know? Coach. And that night when I came home, there was a note from Rodney saying it was all over. Oh, but that's splendid. Now you'll have time to devote to all the others who need you. Well, I, kn I know you never liked Rodney very much, but he was good to me. Yes, and he entertains only the cream, an impeccable host. Dear, m maybe I shouldn't have come. No, I'm certain he's expecting you. Looking a little burnt around the edges, lemon cookie. Let's quaff a few nut brown ales together. Well, I'm trying not to lick the bone. <laughs> That's what she said. Baboon. Say, congratulations on that box office. We must introduce you to Toots. Sit down sometime and uh, I'll chat about that talent of yours. Could turn into a nice profit. Right, you've got the idea, Bob. Mm -hmm.
you seen polia? No, enough of this platonic love shit. What are you talking about? Here, have a little of this. Polyphila, what's your pleasure? Well, I'd like to curl up with a good book, but... Uh, oh, you weren't yeah, having fun at all. Keep... I'm so glad I found you. I'm just leaving. Don't go. Come here. I've got a little poem for you. I'm going down to clean the pasture spring. I'll only stop to rake the leaves away and stay to watch the water clear I'm in. I shan't be gone long. You come too. I'm going down to fetch the little calf that is standing by its mother. It's so young, it totters when she licks it with her tongue. I shan't be gone long. You come too. When in the middle of June, in the summer of 59, I was young and cool, shot a bad game of pool, and hustled all the chumps I could find. Now they call me sport, cause I pushed the bar short and loved all the women to death. I potted hard, packed a mean rod and could knock you out with a right or a left. Because I think he knew I couldn't go through this alone. But we never forgot for one moment that Neil is your husband. There's the star. Think so soon? I, I can get you. Polia? Knight of Diamond calls it Jack of Hearts. What? Show my hand? No limit tonight. Polia. 
Yes? I'm tired. I've forgotten the question. It'll come back to you. I thought for a moment that you were gone again. But you'll know where to find me. Let's give the band a hand, right? While they warm up for the next number, the casino's photographers will be taking courtesy uh, photos. Uh, you can redeem yourself in the lobby. Dancing alone, Palifolo? Mind if I cut in? Thank you.